What is up, y'all? How y'all doing today? I have posted another video, and today I'll be showing y'all what I do for my leg day. And also, I would like to let y'all know that when I do my leg day, I do hit them twice a week, but I focus on hitting two different parts, which is quads and hamstrings. So usually I'll have a quad day focus, and then I'll have a hamstring focus. So for this workout, it will be more hamstring, and y'all will see all what I do. So as you can tell, I'm warming up my legs by doing leg swings, just kicking my legs back and forth. I do believe static stretches are good, which I did do before, but I also believe doing movements like this just to get the blood moving in my hips, you know, not as tight to where I can make sure I do good during my lifts. So I'm doing about maybe 10 to 12 leg swings in the beginning and then 10 to 12 regular kicks. Right here, I'm just doing some movement to open my hips and I make sure I do this on both sides with the same amount of reps. So I can be comfortable when I'm doing my lifts since my hips are somewhat tight most of the time. And the goal I do for this is to make sure I keep my body straight, like my chest and my back. And then I just focus on my legs because if I move my whole body, you know, that's not really gonna do anything. Here, I am doing line curls. So, you gotta make sure your concentric is a little quicker than the eccentric. So uh, I'm there at the top and I hold it for maybe a quick second. And then I go down really slow and I feel a stretch. For this exercise, I did about three sets of 12 to 15 reps just to make sure I get the blood flowing and to make sure I get ready for my next exercise, which is gonna be a little heavier. So for this, I'm not gonna go too heavy or too light, but I wanna do a good weight that allows me to get a good amount of reps to where I can feel the blood flow. Here, I'm doing leg press, two heavy sets to failure. So the leg press I have in my gym is a little different from other leg presses at other gyms. So specifically for this one, I put my feet about on the top of the platform and I have my toes pointed out just a little bit. And when I go down, I try to make sure I go down as much as possible. And then when I extend all the way, I make sure I don't hyper extend my knees. So as you can tell, I'm taking a little breaks because on leg days, you know, my heart rate's going really fast. And it's like one of the hardest body parts that you gotta push yourself. So as you can tell, when you see my feet, the toes are a little pointed outward and I got them high on the platform. Just because that focuses more on the hamstrings. I believe if you put your legs a little more lower on the platform, it'll focus more quad. Or if you put it wider, it'll focus on more of your inner thigh. So, as you can tell, I was kind of out of there because that leg press did whip my ass. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> okay, here I'm going to seated hamstring curls. So, as you can tell... When you do the concentric at the bottom, my goal is to try to hold it for at least a second. To be honest, this is one of the worst machines I have ever faced ever since I started lifting and it is really annoying. But you gotta do what you gotta do to get them gains, right? Also for this moment, I did about two sets to failure and I made sure I go about heavy. I think I was doing about 130 pounds yeah, I was dying. <laughs> so I make sure I do full reps to failure. And then even after I can't go full, I try to do 
parsers even because parser reps or cheating reps are even cool you know to get gains to it's always cool to get extra for real <laughs> man yeah those are the partial reps I was talking about yep throw the pan here I started to do RDOs so I made sure I go slow at the bottom to fill a stretch and then I go up almost all the way you still want to so when you're doing RDOs, it's almost like you're doing a static stretch for your hamstrings, right? But here's the thing. You want to make sure you have a bend in your knees at all times and have your glutes going backwards whenever you go down. You do not have to go all the way down to fill in your hamstrings. Depending on how slow and how fast you are, that will determine when you can fill or not. So, I try to flex them, but... Like I said, I mean, my legs were pumped up and they were really burning. But as you can see, this is what I do for my leg days as of now, as I'm doing just quad focused and hamstring focused leg days. <clears throat> I just want to say thank you all again for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one. God bless. Peace.